is uh, is still playing and uh, you find you just won against Jan Nepomneshi playing black pieces so what can you say about this game how difficult it was for oh, you well actually i thought that right after the opening white made some white made blunders by taking on b7 Okay, Did you I, know this move rook b1 and... Uh, well, I I have kind of impression that actually in the first Grand Prix in Sharjah, there's a game played between Levon and uh, Paco. So the game probably continued by queen take d7. I'm not sure exactly whether this move was there or not, but there were something similar. Uh, and okay, I decided to take with, took with the knight and uh, yeah, it looks like just uh, not going so well. So well for white because I think C take D4 is important. Uh, if you play Knight B6, immediately probably will face Bishop A7 three with idea Rook E7 Bishop C5. So that's why you took first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took first because here, well, let's say if Queen A4 doesn't work, Black has Queen C8. Yeah, otherwise mm -hmm. it will be unpleasant. Okay, so C take D4 Knight B6. And the queen d2, okay, here I thought for quite some time I was thinking whether I should go for this uh, um, exchange where white could have some compensation or just to play the normal move like short castle, but then I was thinking probably knight e2. And white and has time to develop the pieces or they don't really? Well, of course, I thought mm -hmm. black should have compensation, but I didn't really figure out during the game that how to continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for example, if rook e8, probably white will have queen f4. Mm -hmm. And then if queen c8, rook c7, simply yes. right? Or something yes, like that. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. should always like two temples to defend my bishop and then to capture the rook. Okay, so I decided to go queen c8 immediately. I thought here, um, yeah, I played quite uh, ac active. At some point, I thought white should have enough compensation. Uh, yeah, I start to be unsure about my position somehow. <laughs> I thought I made some inaccurate moves, but okay. G4, did you expect this mm, move? Yeah, I kind of thought about it, but not like uh, continue very deep mm -hmm. for my calculation because white has also possibilities like immediate queen g5, probably doesn't work in because of g6, or knight g5, king g8, probably also. So g4 is very interesting because here, I was also considering to play rook e8 because now white does have queen g5 with king g8 there is no queen h5 knight g5 queen f7 since this pawn is protected compared to the game um, but okay i was thinking okay here d5 doesn't work because of queen c4 there's uh, g4 and d5 two threats but so i was thinking probably white could try the move like queen d3 and uh, threatening d5 and also some move like knight g5 queen h3 at some sudden moments Mm, so I wasn't so sure about this. Okay, so rook d8, queen g5 is interesting. I was thinking... Uh, he played it quite quickly, right? Yes. I mean, immediately. Like. But I was thinking probably <laughs> this is interesting or not. I'm not sure. Because simply if queen e6, maybe knight e5. Uh, knight c4, okay. A little bit complicated list for humans. But, but might also be possible to try king g8 with idea e7, rook d6, probably rook g6, queen c6, is like this. Um, and I think uh, Yang was hoping for this because at first it looks very dangerous for black with idea knight g5. And of course black doesn't want to play something like g6 and to weaken this uh, dark squares. It could be like long-term compensation. Um, and then knight g5, queen f7 is it's coming. I thought I find a very good reaction like rook f8, bishop a3, queen c6. And although black give back the pieces, but suddenly all the pieces are working and this g4 actually weakened the white's king side. Yeah, so I, I have kind of feeling that I, until this moment, maybe black is like uh, kind of uh, much better. Mm -hmm. mm, and okay. Queen d7 because if queen d5 at first it looks even more tempting but probably it will face something like rook c7 with idea knight d7 g take f5 and if rook take f5 there's uh, queen e7 okay mm -hmm. and e take f5 there's e e6 okay so queen d7 the point is if knight f3 then black has knight d5 
and the threat is coming and FG is coming. Okay, so white has to back to H3. This is definitely not great. And the black simply uh, win a pawn. I mean, it's, it should to be call the pawns. <laughs> yes, technically winning should be much easier. But okay, somehow mm, when I was like a sh short on time, so I decided to pass the 30 moves and uh, slowly improved. I think the rest is like... Uh, was um, technical. Yeah. So you managed to equalize the score against uh, Jan Nepomnesi, who told uh, who yesterday said during the opening ceremony that he has plus one with you. And uh, what do you think about this result today? And uh, are you happy to start the tournament with a victory? And what, how do you estimate your chances? Yeah, of course, I'm very happy that I can start with uh, with a victory because the last Grand Prix I was also playing. Okay, my resource is not so bad. I drew the first eight games, but the last round I lost to uh, Shar. Uh, Shashira and uh, give him like to share the equal place. Uh, I mean, my performance not ended in a great way, so I'm very happy that uh, uh, at least uh, the second stage I could uh, achieve to have some scores. Uh, but okay, it's just a start, and uh, I hope that I could keep this form. And uh, yeah, actually, we've played many, not so many, but there are some games with, with each other since uh, more or less. Uh, Around 10 years ago, I mm -hmm. remember the first game probably in what can say, uh, in probably C group in 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I lost to Yang last year in an invitational tournament in China where I'm also, I was also having black. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I'm used to make uh, Grand Prix, uh, the interviews with you during Women Grand Prix. So it's my <laughs> first time that we are doing interview while it's, uh, let's say, open Grand Prix event. So, I mean, how does it feel actually to play with men and, I mean, in such a high level and be the part of the World Championship cycle for men? Yeah, uh, it's, it is really a great chance for me to be joined to this new circle for the, okay, you said the World Championship system, and uh, I feel like uh, I'm really honored to play with all these top, top grandmasters in a, not only invitation tournament, but also in the series tournaments as this one. So I'm really appreciate for Fede and Aiken to give me these chances to participate. And uh, okay, among the participants, I'm kind of, you know, not high rated, but I hope that I could at least try to be more competitive and trying to show more interesting games. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the organization of the Grand Prix in Moscow? How do you like it yeah, it's here so far? Good. Yeah, the the playing conditions and the, the hotel where we stay, like we look, we are staying the really like the heart of the Moscow, and also. This is my first time to play in the summertime. Okay, we call it the summertime <laughs> in Moscow because I was playing like a few times Aeroflot Open, but that was always held like in February in very, very cold winter with a deep snow. So we're very happy to to play here again. Yeah, we also hope that the weather will improve a little bit <laughs> and we'll come to real summer. Okay, yeah, fine. Thank you so much.